Hey, welcome to the channel. So I'm zoomed right out here. Uh, so like this two by four looks enormous, but this is the zoom out lens. So we got an unboxing. So this is from Travis in Quebec. Uh, I actually bought this saw, this uh, farm saw right here, off of him. He's in uh, he's in Quebec. Put something on the bench here. Not planned out well, but he sent me a saw. Um, I sent him one too. It has not arrived yet, which I'm starting to get worried because it's caught here from three days in Montreal. Uh, but they're a bigger shipping hub, so we'll see what happens with that. There's a bit of a clusterfuck game that's off, anyways. But, anyways, we're doing unboxing. Um, I think I know what's in here. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. But uh, we're going to take it apart together. Make sure the video is actually recording. Yeah, look at that. Look at all my professional videography skills. Anyways, okay. We're not videography. Uh, no. It's a long day. It's Tuesday, but it's like a Monday because yesterday was a holiday. Anyways, so this came all the way from Quebec in the Montreal area. Uh, he buys fancy boxes. He buys the heavy him home people. He just buys the crappy ones. And then use some uh, random uh, scrap cardboard on the bottom just to reinforce it. But, uh, that is a good packing job. Farm saw was too. Yeah. Huh, that's funny. That's too funny. He sent me maple syrup. That's kind of cool. Uh, I like maple syrup. My wife does not, so this is good, so I don't have to share this. Product of Quebec. Quebec's big maple syrup country. Well, so is New York State, because that's where. Uh, red tillers from he does that comes with a chain full chisel too it's actually it's sharp sharp that's all I gotta say it's sharp it's got a bar Oregon bar made in Canada Canada stand so it's I don't know all this bar it needs to be a little bit deeper but not much it's fucking awesome. If I was in town this weekend, I would make pancakes and have this, but I have to go out town and go to the Woodwall. <laughs> Anyways, so here is the saw. Any guesses? I mean, you don't have to guess, so I'm going to open up right away. What it is is actually smaller than I thought. So I, I, I know what this is. It's a yellow saw, but a good yellow saw, not a crap McCulloch. I think I just lost half my subscribers. Oh yeah. That's nice. So this is a John Deere 55V. Compression to it. Like it's a fairly clean saw. Like, oh, it actually is a chamber. I thought it was just a handguard. It's sweet. 40 to 1. 40 to 1 using John Deere two cycle oil. 32 to 1 using anything else. That sounds more typical. Yes. Yeah, so thank you, Travis. This is kind of cool. It's a nice, nice looking saw. I've never owned one of these, I never even touched one of these. The only other McCulloch I've ever ran of this vintage was at uh, Tazapalooza last year. I ran uh, Daniel's, uh, I think it was his dad's, I think it was a 650 or a 660. Bigger than this, but uh, yeah. These are cool looking saws. I'm just I'm surprised Echo wasn't more popular because, I mean, they built nice products. But, anyways, yeah, so we might, uh, we might fire this bad boy up after I burn some cardboard, but yeah. Thanks, Travis. I hope you get your package for me pretty soon, because I really hope so. Otherwise, I'll have to deal with can post, which is always fun. But, uh, I bet you this thing will run, no problem. Oh. 
Also, I'll bring you guys back and I'll be running, so. I just want to bring you guys in here if you've never seen one of these. I mean, obviously, it's the same as the Echo CS uh, 500VL, but I mean, like, these saws are well built. Like, the Japanese could sure build a saw. I mean, the muffler is incredibly overkill under there, but um, it's a fairly quiet saw. I mean, it's got nice fuel caps. I mean, the fit and finish is actually really nice on this thing. Like, I wonder if Echoes were on the bottom end of the market back then, because I really don't know. Uh, it has like carp adjustments under there. Oh. But it's a nice little saw. Chain brake works. Needs a little bit of chain work, but uh, yeah, it's a good little saw. Or will be. And this thing might get ported. It might. So I think there's room for improvement. Just looking at how the muffler is alone. Even just the muffler mod might wake it up quite a bit. Okay, let's see if this thing will fire. It's got my normal 40 to 1 Echo Red armor in it. Hopefully that's as good as the early 80s John Deere stuff this would add. I think that's so funny. I like saws that have proper throttle lock where it's not part of the choke. I don't know why, just don't like it. Started to race a bit, but I only poured like a third of a tank of fuel, so it might actually be well, you know. We're gonna take it out this weekend and play with it a bit. Uh, it's oiling well, it's oiling really well. Yeah, so thanks again, Travis. That's this is pretty cool. I hopefully your the saw I sent you will show up in a day or two. Yeah, what is that? A nice little saw.